Peter Coleman joining us right now. Peter, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks, Thanks. for joining us. So what, is, what do these movies have in common? Well, they have in common these two characters, these two great characters that we're all familiar with who have a clear idea of what they want and they don't really worry or bother with other people. They just sort of set their sights and move forward and try to achieve their goals. And that's one of the strategies that we found in our research is particularly effective sometimes in some situations it, it works. Sometimes, but I mean, yeah. what's better? Should you be working alone and focus on what you're good at or is it better to just work with a team? Right, so what we found is that people at work who can do both, and in fact, who can be sort of dominate, domineering and dominant when they need to be, but can be a team player under certain conditions, but then sometimes realize, I don't need this conflict, I don't need this problem, I'm gonna move off on my own. When they're more adaptive to different kinds of situations, they're happier at work, they're healthier at work, they tend to quit less, so it's just better to be adaptive. Leah? So, so it sounds like you sort of uh, advocate avoiding conflict, but you know, in places like the military and in some organizations, being a team and being part of the team is really important, yeah. and then conflict is sort of inherent. So my question is this, when you are in a conflict, do you advocate shooting the person or singing to them. <laughs> Uh, yes, it depends on the conflict. So uh, I don't. We don't. Depends on the conflict. I like that. We don't. We don't advocate uh, avoiding it. In fact, conflict it, we suggest is a great source of energy. I mean, there's a lot of conflict I see in this panel with your guests, and that's uh, really what we try to emphasize: is that when you're in conflict, it's an opportunity, and if you can use the energy from that opportunity to achieve your goals, the goals may be for the organization or the team as a whole, or it might just be your needs at that time. Is, is it crucial when the conflict initially happens to take yeah. a step back, take a breather, try to remove yourself from the situation or put your, yourself in the other person's shoes. Is that, I mean, what's the best way uh, during the initial conflict? Again, it depends. So yeah, a conflict tends to evoke anxiety in us and emotion in us. And so if we feel ourselves getting really heated and kind of losing control of the situation, it absolutely helps to take a break think a little bit about what you want to do in this situation and then sort of respond. Um, but, but people that are used to being in conflict a lot of the time, they develop strong tendencies and patterns. Some of those are very adaptive and responsive to different kinds of situations and some of them are very chronic. They just do the same thing all the time. A lot of companies obviously emphasize team building and uh, also yeah. they talk about uh, having one set of rules that apply to everybody, consistency. Yeah. I'm wondering, does this suggest uh, different management style depending on the person? I'm thinking of, uh, for example, let's look at Caddyshack, Carl Spackler operating on his own basically destroyed the whole golf course. <laughs> right. you, you probably would want him being more of a team player. Yeah, again, uh, it, it depends. Sometimes it's useful to, look, everybody eventually needs to engage with the team. You need to be able to work out with, work with other people constructively. But there are times when it's important for you to kind of proceed on your own. You realize that engaging with the team is gonna slow things down or it's not effective or there's too much dissent in the team and you need to act unilaterally. We can't all do that, but sometimes some leaders in particular, managers need to sort of take the reins and do it themselves. All right, we will leave it yeah. there. Peter, great, great instincts and advice. Good to see you. Thank Thanks you very so much. much for Congrats having. on the book. Peter Coleman there.